Hi everyone. Today I am going to be giving the bunnies some lovely organic apple branches that I was given from somebody that pruned their tree. Uh, and I thought I'd share them enjoying that with you. And branches are really important, like woody branches are really important for rabbits to eat to help wear down their teeth because rabbit teeth never stop growing their whole lives. So they need to be able to wear them down. Hay is a really good thing to help them wear down their teeth just with the way that they chew on it. But things like apple branches uh, and other appropriate woody branches and um, bushes uh, are also really helpful for them to just keep their, their teeth in check uh, and stop them having problems uh, with eating and with getting uh, abscesses and that sort of thing. So there are other types of branches you can also give. You can't just get give any wood, but they can also have, along with apple, they can also have pear, ash, birch, hawthorn, hazel, juniper, maple, poplar, spruce, willow uh, with willow you have to be a little bit careful if they're on any pain relief like medicam um, the willow has the same sort of blood thinning properties so if they're on some pain relief um, like medicam it can also have the same effect as the willow and that can cause some internal bleeding and ulcers i do give mine some willow branches as well um, even though they are on medication but you just need to be aware of it and just you know it's just a bit of a, a caution to take there um, and also berry berry brambles are really good so things like blackberries raspberries those sort of things they like the leaves as well as the stems of those and rose bushes as well they they like to eat the leaves and the the bark I suppose you'd say on the outside of the rose bush stems as well so there's some other appropriate ones you can give just got to make sure that no matter what you give of course it's organic so no sprays or anything like that's gone on it and I also wash mine as well just even though they are organic just to make sure that no other animals have been you know around it or that there's no bird poo on it or bugs that sort of thing so I will now go and get the apple branches and give them to the buns these branches are um, as I said prunings from a tree that one of my friends is cutting back or coming into spring now so she's just cutting back her uh, older wood on her apple tree to make way for the spring growth um, so because it's just we've just gone through winter these ones don't have any leaves on them at the moment but they do love the leaves as well so if you have an apple tree that has lots of you know lots of leaves on it as well that's fine the only thing you want to do is not leave even small little apples or even fully ripe apples on the tree that would be if they were small they wouldn't be ripe and they could give them an upset tummy and if they're fully formed, then that would be just too much sugar for them. Also, there'll be seeds in them, which isn't good for bunnies either. So if you do have fruit on the branches, you'd want to take that off before you give them to your bunnies. And like anything as well that you introduce, if your bunnies aren't used to any of these branches um, or, or bushes or brambles, you would like, you know, you want to introduce it just gradually. So don't give them too much all at once. So they might, so they don't get an upset tummy. You just want to introduce a little bit gradually, see how they go with that. Um, Mine are very much used to having lots of uh, forage and um, branches and bushes and stems and that sort of thing. So they're very good with them. And as you can see, they really enjoy them. They don't actually eat, mine don't actually eat all of the, the branch. They tend to just take off, strip the outer bark and just chew it down a bit and just leave a really um, small, small inside twig bit. But they really enjoy it. It's great for their, you know, their mental stimulation as well, just to give them something else to focus on and... Uh, some, some entertainment as well um, so yeah so I'll let you enjoy the bunnies having a little bit of a nibble on their branches I've also got some really nice, as you can see here, Anita's eating some really nice rose bush um, cuttings as well from the same friend. She trimmed back some of her rose bushes as well. Uh, and so I'm giving them to them as well to enjoy. They, I don't usually take the, um, what do you call them, thorns off mine. You can do that if you're worried. I know it seems really weird, but they seem to manage thorns on rose bushes and also the little, um, I suppose they're thorns on blackberries and raspberries okay as well. Um, but... If you are worried, you know, you could always just take them off. These ones are really good because they don't actually have any thorns on them, which is great. So they're thornless rose bushes, which is, you know, fantastic. 
And again, they can have the leaves and the stems. They can also have the flowers as well. They love rose, actual rose flowers as well. I often give them to my bunnies too. I haven't ever given them the rose hips. I'm not too sure on if they can have them or not, but I've just been on this, erred on the side of caution there and not given them the rose hips, hips but the rest of the, the rose plant is okay for them. As with all the others as well, it needs to be, of course, organic and, and washed before you give it to them as well. But it's another great thing to help wear down their teeth. It's also nice and fibrous. All the rose uh, stems, the rose leaves, they're really fibrous, so they're great for their digestion because being bunnies, they need a lot of fibre in their diet to keep their digestion healthy. So thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one. Lots of love and hugs. Bye.